Good day, good day, everybody. Welcome back to the show, Alibar Jones here. I have um, a really amazing uh, piece of video to show you. I am flabbergasted by it. I don't understand what it means for the exopolitical culture right now. I really don't fully grasp where it will take us. For those of you who saw our last video, um, we said that our next mission was against the Vatican, and we've had two missions since then, and neither of them were against the Vatican. Uh, the first one was, uh, it began with looking at a, a, a sigil behind the head of every human being. It sort of looked like a, a brand, as though you might do it to cattle. And we followed that back, and we followed that back to whoever put it on all of humanity. And what we found was that they claimed that humanity is theirs, and then we took the title deed to humanity off them and gave it to Gaia. We did this twice. There were two groups who have a claim. I think the claims on Earth and humanity are something very similar to the map of Antarctica. Everybody has a piece. Everybody gets a go. Everybody's not working against each other, but not working together. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, but today we worked on the law that I think they're going to try and pass while the media blackout is happening due to the elections in a couple of days. Um, and this is the misinformation and disinformation law. If you, if you look at the legislature, it just means if the government doesn't like it, they can arrest you. I did also hear that uh, the first thought criminal was arrested. There's a man who was arrested <laughs> for a thought crime in the UK. Apparently, he was sitting on his own um, meditating. No idea if this is true or not. But if censorship of this level occurs, then our cause is completely lost. I don't want to. I want to put an end to that. Before that, so we did a two-hour meditation that shut down the chance that these laws will be passed. All of the suppression energy got pulled out of that. So um, we will catch up with the Vatican. We will. Um, a friend of mine who has been channeling Enki regularly for the past little while um, said that Enki really, really, really wanted to talk to me. And so this conversation occurred because of that. That's how it went. Um, I'll let you make of it what you will. I'll. It's a big deal, but what the repercussions are for this exopolitically are really up for grabs. I don't know what the exopolitical landscape will look like after he's gone, but but the likelihood is that Humanity has just lost one more faction of non-physical oppressors. All right, enjoy the show. You've reached out to me this week because you've got somebody who wants to have a chat with me, right? I do. I do. Okay, so let's bring them forward and, and open that discussion, yeah? Uh, yes, and with respect to what I'm about to uh, do, for, I just want to say a couple things, and I'm I'm a little nervous. Just let my nerves go a little bit. Of course. Okay, so I just want to uh, say everything that's coming through, um, and I know you know this, but I'm saying this for everybody. This is a request. It's just a request. This is all it is. There's a tremendous amount of respect coming to you from both of these two individuals and uh, they have been watching you for some time and as they've been watching everything. And um, also you should know that I don't have a lot of exposure to the ancient Sumerian culture. I really don't, this is very blind. This is part of why I'm, I'm having, um, you know, trepidation because yeah. it's a very blind channel everything that I know about these two individuals, I know personally because I know them. I don't, I have studied ancient Sumeria, obviously because this happened. So I was curious, but I still don't know the whole of it. Um, so that's what I wanted to say. And they're very excited. So, right. uh, sure. hey.
nothing that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Any questions you have, Enki is here. Good to finally meet you, Enki. Thanks for reaching out. Um, to, what, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence? I assure you the pleasure is all mine, Alabar. You have been watched for many, many years and many lifetimes. It's with great pride that I come to you and I offer a settlement for humankind. Sorry, from what position do you, are you in? So, on what authority do you offer a settlement? Like, what is the basis of this authority? The authority is ultimately through God, through creator of all, through myself as the creator of the human race because it was myself and my sister who hybridized humans by using the genetics from the nomads that were already indigenous to this earth. Mm -hmm. My sister and I, through master genetics and knowledge from our home planet of Nibiru, hybridized the humans as a worker race for this planet for the purpose of harvesting gold to pull off planet and take back to Nibiru to heal the damage that we had done with our atmosphere. So what you're saying is that you're some sort of custodians for Earth or the humans, which one? Ultimately, Gaia is the custodian of Earth. She has ownership and titles. She has her own sentience. This is her. This is her body. So you you know you have a claim on so you have a claim on humanity then. Not not exactly. I created humanity with my sister Neem Ma. So I'm just trying to figure out where you're coming from. So if you created humanity, is it yours or is it not? In the beginning, I treated okay. them. So so short answers, short answers, were... short answers, straight answers, please. I am not the custodian of humanity anymore. Who is? The creator of all. Did you recently lose custody of humanity? Some time ago. How long ago? Days, years, centuries, what? Over 450,000 years ago. I'm having trouble understanding how to relate to you because I, so far I, I'm not hearing straight talk. So you're here to, you're here to do what? You're here to hand over custody to the humans, which you don't have. This is how. All right, just be careful. Be 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 direct in your speech with me because, like, uh, I find the longer the story goes, the more confusing it is. Ultimately, the human came from Anunnaki. There has been many wars against the custodian of humans. This eliminates all other, what do you say? This eliminates all other conquest of humans. When I tell you, when I give you everything, who, what are you saying?
creator of all is giving him authority to hand over all custodianship to you, Alabar. I understand I don't have authority over humans anymore. But when I tell you we are giving you custodianship of the humans, this is so that no other entity can come in and take over the humans saying they have some kind of conquest or authority in their DNA because I created you first. Well, okay, okay. So you want me to be custodian of humanity. That's an interesting offer. I... I don't think I'm qualified without being funny about it. I'm not sure that I understand the responsibility involved in that. But our mission on, what was it, yesterday, we reclaimed two other title deeds for the Earth. Is this phone call in response to those events? Yes. So by reclaiming two title deeds to the earth, you're formally relinquishing your claim here. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. Now, you can relinquish your claim without it being to anybody. I trust you. I think this is a trap. If, because you did a really terrible job of being custodians of the humans. Like you let all sorts, you made deals with all sorts of species to show up here and do whatever they want with us, and including correct. including relentless lies. You are correct. So, there are many things I have yeah. done in error. You sold us out, punk. Didn't you? Yes or no? I was asked to leave. I was asked to leave by creator of all because, as my brother would say, I meddle. And when I say that, I don't mean distressfully. I was trying to help. It seemed the more I helped, the more I didn't. Uh, look, look, I, I just want to stop you there because I don't want you to just make public excuses for all the stunts you pulled. As custodian of the humans, I would suggest that you sold rights to the humans, to the, to the reptilians. True or false? My lineage has done this. Say that again? My my sons have done I did not do this, but it does not matter what I did or did not do. This is my lineage. This is why I am here. Who are your sons still walking on the earth? Some of them in some form. Lucifer, one of your kids? Were you one he of your he has been a creation of one of my children, yes. So it's from your camp, eh? Many of them are, Alabar. And you could have reeled this in at any point. No, not at any point. Like but I you're, said... You're, I... You're, you were the one with... No, no, don't give me that. You were the one who were the, was a custodian of humanity... And you were very irresponsible with it. And now you're trying to part, even though we forced you to give up your, your legal claims to earth. I won't have you making excuses for the stunts you've pulled and trying to save face. You are the worst kind of galactic scum. You didn't create the human species. You did genetically splice from Neanderthals, is the story I'm working with, 
But to find to find a Mustang and then paint a pinstripe on it and then say that you invented the Mustang is nonsense. But most of us humans buy your nonsense, don't they? They buy they whatever story you want to tell, they lap it up. Many of the stories are not accurate. Many of them are. The picture of the destruction and of the terrible things that I have done, they are many true. They are? Yeah. You're a scumbag. I have in the past. Yes. Don't tell us you're turning a new leaf. Don't just stop. Before you start, don't even give us that nonsense. It was just another deception. And, you know, and you've pulled in some big names into your deception. Some very well-known and popular people on YouTube are just singing the same song, the same BS that you've been feeding us for ages. Is Yahweh the Christian God? See one of yours? There are different... There is a negatively oriented Yahweh, if this is what you're asking. Is that a creation of part of my family? That is a part of my family. There are many things in my family that have caused irreparable damage. Yep. Yeah, that's okay. But are you an intelligence to do with the black stone? You have a relationship with the black stone. If you are speaking of the great nothing, I do not. Are you competing with the great nothing? No. Are you allied with the great nothing? No. Are you saying you have no relationship with the great nothing? I am not with the great nothing. Now, for those of you who have not been watching the show, let me introduce the Great Nothing. You should check out this video here. It's a 45-minute talk that explains, well, firstly, everything that's going on on Earth and why things are so strange here. But it introduces this character, the Great Nothing, this galactic AI who's here to take over the planet and we believe consume and destroy it. And it looks like this Enki guy knows him pretty well, so listen carefully to the next part. But watch that video. Are you against the great nothing? Yes. Yeah. And so you guys are just, the great you and the great nothing are different factions who are vying for ownership of Earth. Is that a better description? I've watched the great movie destroy countless things. I do not want what I created destroyed. I never did. You didn't answer the question. Yes or no? Are you competing factions trying to gain dominance on the earth? No. no. Are you or have you ever been at war with the great nothing? Yes. Yeah. How come you guys stopped fighting? Because I knew that it wasn't going to work. What wasn't going to work? I knew that I was going to cause more problems for the humans. More, I might even lose them. Now, this is where it gets interesting because the Black Stone or the, is the representative of the galactic AI. You might also know it as Black Goo. And when it solidifies, it becomes the Black Stone. There's a lot more of this um, on our website, theearthguard.org, which will be released very, very soon. We have a lot to say on this topic. But... What really interests us is that Anki 
says it, he fought a war against um, the Galactic AI and lost, which fascinates me, but it just shows how complicated ex exopolitics really is. Yeah, I don't know which way to jump. But we thought they were all the same team for the longest time. Who knew? What's very strange is that they all behave the same. They all use the same modus operandi, the same mechanisms, the same tools, the same kinds of things. They're all just trying to milk human emotion in all the ways that they know how. And so they all look the same, but they say they're part of different teams. And we don't know if he's lying or telling the truth here. In fact, with a lot of this interview, we're not sure. I don't think you care about the humans. I just, I, I only as a resource, I might say, you only care about the humans as a resource. How many planets are you present on? At this time, I am present on two. And how and many? How many pl planets do you claim? How many pl planets do you have a claim on? A lot of counting going on there. There have been many. Currently, how many planets do you have a claim on? Four thousand three hundred twenty-two. So you're a competitor to the great nothing. No. I am not here to destroy. I am here to create. I wanted to create. And in that process, I destroyed you, a lot. You're not capable of creating. You're just not, anyway. We, her earth is just a rich, it's a rich harvest here, isn't it? Earth is not for me to choose one way or another. I am coming to you. And if you want, if you want me to go, I will go. No, I'm asking you to be honest with me. I'm asking you I for some context of your relationship with the earth and humanity. My relationship is that I created these humans. And I am connected to these humans, and I do care about these humans. So, since Lucifer is part of your gang, I'm going he to... Of my gang. I am not associated with him. I have been... I have cut off from that. But it was your faction that created him. Yes, yeah. it was one of them. In what context, like, I want, can you, on one hand, say that you care about humans, and then on the other hand, release a monster of that magnitude onto this planet? Like, tell me, um, make me understand that. It was a mistake, one of many mistakes. Okay, yep, all right. So everything that went wrong here was a mistake. So you were never competent to be custodian of this planet. Would that be a, would that be a fair description of you? I think that would be a fair that occurred, yes. How did you get? I know I won't even I won't even ask for that sort for you to tell me a nonsense story. Mm. 
you must have a massive economy around 4,000 planets. Is that right? It doesn't work the same works here. It's not. There are similarities, yes. It is different, but there are similarities. Yes, but Earth humans are like the richest species in the in the galaxy or in, in this region, right? What do you mean rich? I mean, the harvest that you get from human emotion, the harvest you receive from the humans, has to be some of the highest quality, has to be some of the richest fuel that you and your kind have. Am I right about that? There? Okay. Yes, that is true. But you need to understand that I have separated myself from these activities. Yeah, look. But you could, you, since you had the document that said your custodian over the humans, the responsibility to halt these activities was yours. Absolutely yours. You never used it because it benefited you. You've been exploiting humanity for, for millennia. I will take responsibility for my family exploiting the humans for eons because ultimately it is my fault. So are you going to take every member of your family off this fucking planet? Because that's what we want. You're destructive. You're incompetent. You lie regularly. We don't need you. Get you've got no more legal right here. And as and as a representative of Gaia, I solemnly decree that you are no longer welcome, and you have six days to leave. Everything to do with you. It's time for you to leave and never return. And you better hope. I don't catch up with you around the galaxy, punk. As yes or no? Yes. yes. If there is any that you come across that belongs to me, you have Your all authority. Your head will roll. Your personal head will roll. I will come after you as an individual. You've got six days. Don't make excuses. Oh, I was separated. It was my family. It wasn't me. Shut up. No excuses. No more games. No more lies. No more legal covering your ass. Get the fuck off this planet. If you would like. Now. So be it. Yeah, that was pretty heavy, eh? Yeah. yeah. That was, uh, felt like my whole body was shaking basically the whole time. Well... We took the title deeds to Earth off him yesterday and returned them to Gaia. And now he's making a show of giving it back to try and save face. But, like, it's just, yeah, worst kind of scum, mate. Worst kind of scum. But that could, that could be a game changer. And I can already see him, like, repealing massive clusters of demons all over the place. You see, most of demon kind were just spirits who were floating around having a good time on Earth. And then um, and then they made contact with Lucifer and Lucifer got them in a contract wrap, you know, contract this, started to legally tie them up and bind them and make them his servants. And he's been incredibly successful at it. 
he's got thousands, thousands of um, demonic hives or Primark demons with um, they're each with their own empire. You know, and that econ and the amount of loose they're harvesting from humanity is massive, and that economy goes back forever. Um, and it just keeps expanding. It's taken them millennia to build it, and their influence in human culture is obvious. Right, I mean, I understand. I understand what you're saying. I just, for me, channeling him for the last few months, and I'm just, I don't care because I don't have attachment, but the what he was expressing and coming through was very, I mean, maybe it's a show, but it was very penitent. Look, his, look, his mood, I don't think, makes any difference to me. And I think he should, like, he's been doing this for millennia. Like, his worship of him can be traced back to Sumeria. And, and mm -hmm. Sumeria, it seems to be the origin point of black magic. Egypt, actually. But well, yeah. It was well, the it, Egypt. But, but yeah, well, it's still 5,000 years of history, right? And on the day, on the day that he gets defeated, is the day he suddenly feels sorry. Not in any part of the five thousand years beforehand. I just don't buy it. I don't trust these guys. I don't like. I mean, you have every reason to. I mean, I I have had this argument for a long time, saying, "Look at this, and look at this, and look at this." And how can you say a lot about what you were saying? How can you say you you are upset about this or this or this when 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 you yeah. when you when you when you acquiesce to it, when you allow it to continue, your silence is complicity. But um, oh, yeah. Well, if his feelings are hurt at this late stage of the game, like his feelings are, it truly doesn't matter. And I I was trying to explain to him. I. And this is, I know that you were upset and that's fine, but he was trying to offer himself as a sacrifice if that's what you needed to, to do. He was willing to. But it... It just didn't play out that way. And, you know, if he's still at the top of his command structure, and, and remember how vicious the beings he commands are, he must be the most vicious of all in order to stay at the top of that food chain. I don't know how it all works. He, no, he, has, know. he has an investment in doing what we told him to do now, his own life. And that when he take if he fails to take any all of the demons off the off the earth, then it's his head on the block, you know. If he already, you know, it's if he offered his head as penitence, I I suspect he probably had a duplicate of himself or a saved copy or something like that. They can, it, it's it's a possible thing in their in their realm um, yeah. to and be the phoenix rising from the ashes of his own death, and we still have the same problems. Yeah, I don't put anything these archons. No. To be It is bemusing to have him distance himself from the great nothing, but um, I, I, my heart goes out to all of the people who are watching those big name YouTubers, and and they're they're buying into the story, they're buying into what he's got to offer, and it's what is he trying to? Like I said, I don't have a ton. It was a blind channel, and I don't have a ton of information on this topic. Well, look, I, the, there are four big YouTubers who all validate and reinforce each other's message, and Enkin and Leal are part of that message. Um, and uh, the story is they're here to protect the Earth, they're here to look after the Earth as custodians of the Earth, blah, blah. But they're just, they're in, uh, like, 
their willful incompetence for thousands of years is stunning that it, it holds the faith of anyone at all. I not only I, to say to say I care about Earth and then release Lucifer here, like it's just a non sequitur, it's total nonsense. It's a logical impossibility to do both. But you know, they're out there claiming it and it looks like that that's a popular story. People are into it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you've been awesome. Absolutely awesome. And Thank you. I appreciate that. I just, I'm disappointed, I got to say. But only because, you know, this is what they do. That's who they are, what they do. Yeah. Well, in any case, I'm still going to do I'm still about holding the light and living in the law of one. So regardless of whomever comes through, that's still where I stand. Yeah. How would you feel about channeling Yahweh in a further conversation? Sure. Lovely. All right. And thank you, everybody, for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be part of our channel. Thank you very much. Bye for now. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up at night? Yeah, make all the demons quiet. Yeah, we were built to thrive. Yeah.